Hello besties, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hello guys, if it's your first time coming across my YouTube channel, you're most definitely welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment all my videos and also share them. So if you have watched my previous video i was talking about a couple of things and job hunting and also how i got bullied by my learners so this video it's directly for how i was bullied by my learners so like i've indicated on my previous video that i do teach i teach uh, i was teaching grade 11 so the grade 11s were divided into two i had grade 11a and i also have grade i had grade 11b and then my okay i don't want to describe the whole situation how my learners are like the how the classes are but yeah all my learners were best learners to both classes and i was teaching them grade 11 life senses as we know how people describe the life senses how difficult it is and how blah 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 yeah but to shut the to, to to cut the story short so because i mean you know guys sorry i'm young i'm 22 years old and I'm still a new educator and I still have my, you know, childish life that I, I, I live. So what happened was in my class, I, I won't indicate which class, like, who is either A or B, I won't say that, but I'm just going to say my class. So in my class, I had some learners who were quite my age. Some, I, I was maybe one year older than them so summer was two years some were my age exactly so yeah and it was mostly boys you know so the boys that i was teaching they were good learners not to lie but you know man boys you know how boys are so that week i had a a a a quarrel not a quarrel but we were exchanging words me and my learners because i was um, I, I forgot what I was teaching them about, but it was life senses. So me, after teaching them, one of my learners, oh, I think they were, this thing started when they were writing a test. And then I said 30 minutes left. And the learners were like, 30 minutes left, that one. And then I was like, duh. And then next time I said, your time is up. Who is 30 minutes left now? And then we were laughing because now because now I was laughing at them. And the long story short, I think that got one of the learners angry because the following day when I was teaching them something, they were making noise. Then I was like, learner A and B, you're making noise. And then they were like, the, uh, one of them was like, why did you say my name? Do you only see me? And I was like, how? Because I also said some other, I said learner A, B, excuse me. I said Lena A, B, and C. I didn't exactly say your name only. So why are you being like that to me? And then he was like, no, but you can't be saying my name. Whereas you can see the whole class is making noise. Why are you pointing me only with an attitude? And I'm like, duh, it's my class. First of all, and you are answering me like that simply because you see that I'm young or you, you, you disrespect me or things like that. And then the learner from there, it, it went heated. And then we exchanged words. And then I was like, maybe you're talking to me like that because we are the same age. Because if we were not, I don't believe you would be talking to me like that. One thing led to another. And then I went, uh, I was okay after it. Because I mean, it's just learners. It was just an artic not an altercation per se. But it was, it was just me reprimanding him and then him not listening to me. And then I continued with the lesson. Me taking it lightly. And then I went my period was over i went to my staff room i even discussed I, I even reported this issue to my hod i was like no this is what happened in class and then my sister was like oh no we'll deal with it not me knowing what while i was the following day elena will come to me i remember ma'am ma uh, are you aware that uh, there's a, a group that was opened for you from last week and then the learners are, are talking about you and i'm like ah i'm not even taking it or uh, seriously i'm like ah it's fine. The learner was like, do you want me to screenshot and send you? And I'm like, ah, you can do whatever. It's whatever. I don't care. Me not knowing. The next thing when I got home, dun, 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 it's screenshots. And the things I saw, the things I saw about me, literally, like, I was, I was, I don't really know how, to 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 how to describe the feeling that i had but i felt so little 
like they were talking about my looks they were talking about the color of my hands they were talking about how i dress yo i don't want to say some 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 swearing words but they swear at me i don't want to um i don't want to google i mean i don't want to search for the screenshots because that was the, my darkest place and i don't want to go through it again and i feel like i'm held from it but it really took a toll from me like my i didn't believe for it why would my learners say such things about me but it, I remember because it seems like I was highly fedile. Yeah, I remember Like they said a lot about me that I would just kill myself because I've never experienced such hatred, especially from people that you teach so that they can better their tomorrow and then them talking about me like that they were talking about the jeans that i wear what was i even wearing did i even think i was fashionable yo guys can i give it a ha, 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 yo like i felt so i'm even trying not to cry about it because i am okay now like i'm okay but that was the darkest thing that was ever said about me yes i've been bullied before but that was the worst just imagine tomorrow morning you have to go to work and you have to talk to to face the learners and teach them again so yeah i i just decided to to, to suggest because immediately when i got the text like i threw my phone on the on my bed now I started crying and I cry, I can't read the baby. So the things they said about me, about my family, and then from there I decided to, to, to just forward everything to my principal because I couldn't take it anymore. And I told her how I felt and then she was like, Calm down and if you if you can't don't come to school it's tomorrow. And I decided to go to school. When I got to school Mm, my principal like she she didn't say anything she didn't call me but when she uh, i think i was up until break time when she called me and then only to find what this whole thing it's now all over the school every learner knows about it every learner is looking at me like oh wow oh so some learners when ma'am oshapo memo shapo like and you were saying memo shapo memo shapo like it was it was painful to me like it was super i don't want to relive that moment but it was super painful to me because now the principal called me and when the principal um called me i i i went to the principal's office and then the next thing everyone is looking at you like are you okay because and then when the principal started talking to me i just lost it like i i lost it i was i was out of this world i was out of i was gone like i just fainted and because i do suffer from panic attacks so i lost my breath like i felt like dying because for a moment i felt like why like have you seen what like when you give your all and then suddenly like it seems like Gary, people are not thankful of you like what you do for them yo i felt so discouraged and then i i then after the principal talking to me I, I the principal couldn't even talk to me because i was out and then some some teachers they came and assisted and it was a huge thing because um, they even told the the second manager, and then they 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 planned on they they made it a, a, a decision. There was also the, an SGB meeting, and then they called me. I had to talk about it, and then they called the learners, and then they asked her why did they why why did it even have to get to that point? What happened before? Like what 
king and table up city law for them to say such things about me and then one of the lenders was like nah i always i i swear at them i i i, I like i don't talk to them well and like i was I was mad because guys yes i'm not the sweetest person ever but i love my learners like i love my learners yes i would be, be mad at you now but break i'll be talking to you like i would be laughing with you so for them to be so mad so mad that my so mad that they would do such to me it was it was it was on another level like i didn't believe that but yeah and then the, the second manager was like um they need to be expelled from school and then yeah and then they spoke with me and then the my my teachers as a whole they came as a unit and then they went to the class and then they spoke with the class and then yeah like it was it was a sad moment at school and then after that they called me and then the learners apologized and then we went back to our mutual relationship and then they i'm not sure if yeah and then everything was fine and then our relationship was back to normal but even today i don't have hatred in hatred in me but even today when i look at them like i'm i'm hurt like i'm hurt guys like it's not easy coming from a certain area or oh, wholly from home going to a different area and not for your own benefits but for you to change um the the, the narration the number the notion about education to that area and only for them to thank you like that like for the learners to thank you like that it's few teachers that are willing to teach grade 11 life sciences let's be honest guys it's few teachers and on top of that these kids they didn't have a teacher when i went there like a solid solid no as much as this there was a teacher who was teaching them and she's very really good but i went there to teach them specifically and they just ruined me like after that i became a different person like and then after some time, now even when you go to other classes, when you're trying to teach, the learners are more like, like, ma'am, are you okay? Like when you're busy teaching and then when learner will raise their hand, like, ma'am, oh, shabu. Like, it's, it's sad. It's painful. But I'm not sure if I should, I should just, no, but I don't want, I should just, put a screenshot of everything they said about me here oh, i shouldn't because i don't want to look at the video in the next i don't know two years three years and then kkk will get back to to that moment it, it's my past i've learned my lesson don't talk to learners get like sometimes the same respect you're giving yourself and you expect others to give you also give your learners yes learners are very disrespectful but I've learned, Hori, you know what, when they when they they say whatever they want to say, don't respond, or rather just be quiet and continue. Sometimes, I don't want to say that way, but so, Mara, it's okay. Like, it's okay. Or maybe if you've been in my situation, or in a worse situation, it's okay. Like now I felt like dying, I felt like killing myself. I felt like I'm I'm a danger to myself when I'm alone. I felt like why am I doing in this teaching thing? Like I hated teaching so much. I was like, what am I doing in this teaching thing? Because I'm trying to to, to better someone's future and then they're taking me like this. But guys, don't lose who you are. Don't lose why you chose teaching. Don't lose like don't lose yourself because of what learners are saying about learners will talk i was surprised when the principal told me hi why not you're just crying not last year they said worse than what you're, you you you're saying they said about you they said worse things about they went to facebook and looked for my pictures and they posted and made memes and i'm like she's like yeah 
but we have to put an end to this thing because it seems like it's an on ongoing problem and it's going to affect everything because tomorrow yes yesterday it was me today is you tomorrow it can be someone else so you have to put an end to this thing and the principal did and my colleagues they supported me so much the second manager was there as much as he didn't come to me but in this issue he was so much involved like i'm so thankful i do love my learners even those who did whatever the, the bullying to me i really do love those learners and i so wish they can succeed in their life and yeah it's okay sometimes people they don't get along but yeah so the things that were the learners experience the bullying that they we also as teachers we do experience them and especially if you are not as experienced as me it will affect you might find that a teacher calls himself or my herself because of what learners did to them so bullying it's bad and the only thing that um we can we can we can do is to put the word out there out there and help every person wanna to stop bullying and learners should be able to voice out if they are being bullied because bullying is not okay bullying is dangerous because in that, that week the second manager even suggested that i don't go to work because it was bad mara i i, I was like you know what i'm gonna push myself yes today i might be the topic but tomorrow it's going so, to be someone else like if they would be talking about something else not about me so yeah i went to work and now voila i'm okay and my learners those who bullied me they do come to me they do laugh with me and yeah it's fine sometimes learners they don't think for tomorrow they think now and they think they are okay they, they are correct and then they just act but anyways besties thank you very much for watching the video i really do appreciate and love you so much don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like comment and yeah anyways i do love you Mwah. bye